Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Apollo. With gas prices skyrocketing these days, everyone's looking for alternative modes of transportation to try and save some money. Sure, there's a subway or metro, but no one likes being stuck in a stuffy sardine can packed with other people. There's a classic bicycle, but have you ever tried biking to work while wearing a suit in the middle of summer? It's not flattering, let me tell you. Of course, there's another option, electric scooters. And while they might be a little pricey up front, they definitely pay for themselves in just a couple of years. Now, we've done plenty of tip videos in the past on how to get started in the electric scooter world, like basic maintenance guides, five safety tips for riding a scooter for the first time, and many other helpful tips. But is there anything you shouldn't do with your scooter? Well, I'm glad you asked. In this video, we're gonna dive into the top five tips on what not to do with your scooter. I've said this time and time again, safety first. Wearing a helmet is the first step to safe riding and protects the most important part of your body. And yes, gentlemen, even more important than the other part of your body. Even if you're not legally obligated to wear a helmet while riding a scooter in your area, it's better to be safe than sorry. Sure, you might not wear a helmet riding your bike, but electric scooters can reach much higher top speeds than a manually powered bicycle. And you should still be wearing a helmet riding a bicycle too. Falling off your scooter while going even 20 miles per hour is not going to be fun if you're not protected. Rule of thumb is, the faster your scooter goes, the more safety gear you should be wearing. Remember, practice safe scooting. Look ma, no hands! We've probably all said this before when we start to get good at riding a bicycle, but a scooter is not a bike and it's important to understand how functionally different they are. Bicycles have large tires with a short stem usually. Scooters have much longer stems with smaller tires. Bicycle forks will also typically point much farther forward in what's called trail, which makes them more stable. So it's much easier to keep your balance on a bike than on a scooter. Taking your hand off the scooter handlebars even for a second could lead to a wipeout and injuries, as well as damage your scooter if you fall. Nobody wants that. So if you ever need to take your hand off the scooter handlebars, either to check your phone or signal which way you're turning, it's always best to slow down and come to a complete stop. Besides being big fans of sexy 80s style montage videos, we're also big believers in keeping your scooter clean. This might seem like a trivial detail, and if you're the type of person to leave all your laundry for your parents to do, you might be tempted to skip this step. Whatever you do, don't. Unless you like tracking dirt and debris all over your place with your scooter, you should be regularly cleaning your scooter, especially when riding in dirty or wet conditions. I'm looking at you, Montreal. A clean scooter ensures that all the parts of your scooter are working and functioning properly. It also helps keep the weight of your scooter down, which extends your range. Plus, what's better than rolling up in a freshly clean scooter and being the envy of all your friends? It'd be pretty tempting to really push your scooter to the limits and get some hardcore radical air, am I right? After all, most of these scooters do have suspension systems and can cost just as much as a mountain bike, and those are totally fine to take off the jumps. Let me stop you right there. Before you go all evil Knievel, let's compare the differences between electric scooters and bicycles again. As we mentioned in tip number two, bikes have much larger tires, and in the case of downhill mountain bikes, their suspension systems are also much larger and more durable. They were built specifically for that purpose, unlike any current electric scooter on the market. Electric scooter suspension is meant to absorb most of the bumps and potholes on the road while riding, and not for jumping over 14 buses. With the amount of moving parts on a scooter, there's a lot more that can break, not to mention your bones. Okay, so you're not taking it off 100 foot ramps, but some small curbs should be fine, no? Well, not so fast. Depending on your rider weight, how fast you're riding, and how tall the curb might be, that's not recommended usage either, and doing so can void your warranty in a lot of cases. Let's leave the tricks with the pros and try to keep both wheels on the ground at all times, okay? Lithium-ion batteries, which most scooters use these days, are getting more and more technologically advanced with increasing capabilities. Some electric scooters can now get up to 50 miles off range on a single charge or reach top speeds of up to 55 miles per hour. That's almost fast enough to drive on the highway. Not that we recommend you do that either. But a common mistake a lot of riders make is they think that they can have both. Even when driving a car, typically the faster you drive, the less efficient your fuel consumption is. And it's the same thing when riding an electric scooter. So if you want to make sure you don't get stranded on the side of the road 50 miles from home, it's best to always keep an eye on your remaining battery levels and ensure you have enough to get somewhere where you can charge it. Some new scooters these days, like our very own Phantom, will give you an estimated remaining mileage based on your current riding conditions and speeds. Or if you have the Apollo Air or the new city, you can download the official Apollo Scooters app, which connects to the scooter's controller and gives you a very accurate reading of how much battery you have left, as well as help you plan the most efficient route to get where you need to go. As scooters become much more advanced with more and more features, you can expect better battery management and remaining mileage estimates so you no longer have to worry about getting stranded. Like Celine Dion once said, near, far, wherever you are, I believe that my scooter goes on, or something like that. And there you have it. Hopefully you weren't doing any of these with your scooter before, and if you were, now you know not to. We hope you enjoyed watching this and found it useful. If there's any other content you want to see from us, let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching guys, and ride safe. And don't forget your helmet.
heart, my scooter will go on.